I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Last night, North Carolina held their primary election for the 2022 midterms. In the Senate race, Sherry Beasley easily secured the Democrat nomination. Ted Budd beat out former Governor Pat McRory for the Republican one. Budd was boosted by an endorsement from former President Trump and is currently the favorite to win the general election in November. Republicans in Western North Carolina voted to oust incumbent Madison Cawthorn, choosing state Senator Chuck Edwards as the GOP nominee. Cawthorn came under fire recently for comments about drugs and parties in D.C. and subsequently faced a torrent of leaked videos that painted him in an unfavorable light. Edwards is likely to win the general election in North Carolina's deep red 11th district. Even at the cost of great personal hardship. 20-year veterans of law enforcement agencies have turned in their badges because they refuse to bow the knee to vaccine mandates. Nurses have worked and studied for years only to have their jobs stripped away because of a virus that they themselves committed to defeating. Service members, firefighters, EMTs are all sacrificing their careers to stand for the convictions and for freedom. Unconstitutional mandates sacrifice freedom on the altar of safety. Mask mandates are dying because patriots have fought back. Let's do it again with vaccine mandates. This is not a matter of health, it's a matter of liberty. These heroes will not go away quietly. And we will defend them because they have defended us. Mr. Speaker, it's time to end medical tyranny, end federal government overreach, and end vaccine mandates. With that, I yield back.